Hello everyone, this is C. Genova from 992 News and we're back once again with a special correspondence from me to thee regarding the weather in Dundee as we're unfortunate here to tell the tale and tell the story that all of us saw coming as the pathetic excuse of a pitch Ah, Dens Park has once again failed. An inspection in the game between Rangers and Dundee has been postponed for the second time following a second inspection as for whatever reason the match official decided to do an inspection on the park before it started to rain at 11am for a game kicking off at 8 and to no one's surprise, and I mean no one's surprise, when it actually started to rain and when the, the park that is known for flooding started to flood, the second inspection failed with flying colours. Truly, truly surprising situation. Now Nibri wanted to see the return of Weatherman 992 but he unfortunately had to come back because of this weird situation that we're actually in. A situation that I've never found myself on this channel. You know what I mean? We've done it many years, we've spoken about many things, we've never spoken about a game delayed like this and it seems very weird. When it was first postponed last time, I just went, you know what, fair enough. I never made a video and I says this can happen, could be anything. The weather's been bad, fair enough. It happens because I was pretty naive to the situation. I never knew they had so many postponements, ladies and gentlemen. I never knew we were the fourth. I never knew we're new the fifth postponement. You know what I mean? When I actually started to look in it, there's quite clearly a glaring problem and people can say, well, they can't control the weather. Depends who you're asking, Matt. Let's just say, and everything like that. But it's drainage, this, drainage, that. I just don't care, ladies and gentlemen. What we're actually here to talk about is a game that's once again postponed. The postponed game is now postponed and you know their best ideas and their best solutions, the SPFL, the guys clearing all the money, do you know their ideas on what to do with this situation and fix this situation? It's to try again next week. Like, talk about head loss, ladies and gentlemen. The idea, the people that's running this league, running our game's biggest and best idea is to try again next week. That's their idea and it becomes maybe beyond like the jokes and the jabs and the fun, it becomes really frustrating because I know a lot of people, a lot of family members, a lot of my close friends, they'll be imagine everybody watching this will know someone that spent money gone to one of these two games or maybe even both and it's not just sexy supporters this or set, but they arrange babysitters, they spend this, they spend money to go and follow their team, arrange buses, arrange this, there's money flying out and what they're getting is none and it seems really, really avo avoidable and especially Especially the second time, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we spent so long yesterday talking about it in the preview video. Now, I did think the money would talk regarding Sky. I thought there'd be pressure on there. I thought the SPFL fixture would force this game to go on. But the nick of the pitch, they, they even with the pressure of Sky breathing down their necks, telling them, do it, do it, do it. Can he put that game on because it's a danger to the actual players? Now, the referees came out and talked about it. There's several areas all over the park that is genuinely a danger to the players. And again, there will be the, the bandwagon people, the people that say, oh, they hate Rangers. Well, you should just play. You're scared to play. Let's just leave all that in the rear view, ladies and gentlemen. You're talking about a team, not only like Dundee, who I've actually one of the few people that's been impressed by them this season. And I said yesterday, it's a shame because they're what coming for the championship, sacking their manager coming up to the top flight and being sitting in the top six ah uh, ah uh, what two games now away for the actual split is a tremendous achievement but they're getting completely overshadowed because of all the nonsense off the park breaking records for the wrong reasons in terms of postponements and it's frustrating on that aspect but when you look at Rangers we're in a title race ladies and gentlemen a genuine title race every match is important. You need to grab momentum when momentum can be grabbed and we are being robbed of the chances springing together wins. Adding three points, putting pressure on Celtic because again, we are being punished and the only reason we are not sitting top of the league right now is because Dundee can't look after their park. That's it. The best defender Dundee's got is the drainage on that part. The only reason, again, we're not sitting top is because of some rain in Dundee and that's really, really wild to me and I know there'll be some people saying, ah, well, CJ, they've said it's going on next week. We'll just have to get it played next week and I understand that the game does need to be played and if it's going to be next week, it's going to be next week. But what I will say is, I think you're forgetting what next week actually is. You're talking about semi-finals at the weekend. If this postponed, postponed game does... Go the next again week, we will be the only team 
that's playing in the semi-final that will have to play four days before. Our preparations for a semi-final will be cut short because of what? Dundee no looking after the part. Now, I'm actually on the side of the fence. I think we play better when there's a midweek game. I've always felt that when I look at the European games and everything. But taking a step back from my own personal point of view, that seems a bit silly to me. Why are we the only team that's been punished in that aspect going into a semi-final? The only out of the three of them, a eh, four of us, sorry, but three of them, that's ending up playing an actual game. Do you know what I mean? There are so many weird twists and turns regarding this game that it is an absolute head screw. Why do we need to just keep doing this and you might be on the fence and say ah well maybe the pitch was played it was playable last week they played with my mother well, done all that. well if it was so playable answer this question if it was playable why was the Dundee uh, why did Dundee sorry ask Mullerwell if they wanted to play the game behind the doors versus Airdrie why did they ask them if they wanted to postpone it it's all been said it's came out by the chief officer from Mullerwell he's came out and spoke about it in his frustration and his disappointment if the part was playable why is that phone call getting made that is all I really need to say regarding that subject. And again, three or four days later, it's even worse, Nick. Now, and just to talk about how incompetent these people actually are, and sorry if I'm ranting so much, but they had an inspection at 11 a.m., right? When it wasn't raining, wasn't scheduled to be raining, and said, aye, it's all right. And then the Bath clubs were like, uh, maybe we should do it about half three. And the league was like, aye, maybe we should do it about half three, closer to the game. And then when it actually scheduled to rain on a park, that doesn't drain the rain, guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, this started to be some severe issues and you can see it with the ball no bouncing. It's an absolutely chronic situation and all I've got to say, ladies and gentlemen, it's just, it's a real shame. There's just no a stadium nearby with the facilities that could host a game like this to really stop all the disruptions and do it. It's a shame that, eh? You just didn't get lucky like that. Now, of course, that's a wee bit of fun and a wee bit of banter. I don't think either club would ever want to be with that hosting. And maybe Dundee United would because it would obviously make them look a little better. But I do understand the rivalry between the two sides. I do get it. I know that would never, ever happen, right? It's just a wee fun, wee joke. But there must be alternatives. I don't know what to do now with this. And I don't know where to go with this because I'm going to sit and make another preview video on Tuesday regarding a game I don't think is actually going to happen because look at the forecast. Look at the weather. It's only going to get worse. The drainage in the park is beyond a joke. There's more sand pits there than there is at the beach, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sick today if you've seen it and they keep pouring sand on it, pouring sand on it. What happens when sand gets wet? Can anybody answer me that? Aye. You're just increasing the risk of injuring players time and time again and I I don't know what the solution is I know people's going to throw it they've got to forfeit now it's got to be played elsewhere is it going to be a behind the doors friendly because that's only punishing one team and that's our team ladies and gentlemen I'm po probably punishing the pockets of Dundee actually when I say it out loud but to have the balls to ask Mullerwell if they want to play a behind the doors friendly on Saturday and then just lull and lie and lead us all into nonsense over the next four days to try and pretend the part was going to be available people spending money Money, people traveling, people making arrangements, sorting babysitters, then everything they need today, money wise, is just seeming like it's complete and utter incompetence. If and what if an idiot like me can look at that and say, Well, that part's never gonna be available. Why is the people in charge? Why is the people not walking on that surface? No, just letting everybody know. It's just another example of why this league is where it is. These are the guys in charge of it. These are the guys making the decisions. There needs to be something done. I don't know what the perfect scenario is. I believe both Rangers and the SPFL has released a statement. I've just seen them pop up on my laptop right there. So I will read them and I will do a brief, brief, a brief break, sorry, and then read them out for you guys right here. But I'm just telling you my opinion. The game's just been called off. I'm infuriated. I'm frustrated. But am I surprised? No. Because everybody that's not blinded by hatred knows that park is in a shambles. But as I just said, ladies and gentlemen, I got a notification saying that Rangers had tweeted out, so let's read their official statement on the subject and see how they feel regarding I imagine, because I've not read it yet, I'm going to do this all in one take, hopefully, that they'll be as frustrated as I am. It starts, Rangers has written to the SPFL outlining, outlining sorry, its position following today's fuller postponement of the Dundee Scottish Premiership fixture. The negligence and unprofessionalism demonstrated by Dundee Football Club where they have repeatedly breached SPFL rules continue to have a damaging effect on the top professional league in this country. That 
is spicy and it's an absolute snipe shot of calling it out for what it is. It is completely unprofessional. It's probably a word I should have said five or six minutes ago, Rangers. Thank you for embarrassing me. We move on with the statement. I'll list the full thing. I'm going to skip over first two because my son's caught my eye and this is going to be bringing up a subject we kind of talked about. The club has been repeatedly putting forward solutions to the SPFL which have not been taken up. It has again proposed a solution to the preparation and execution of this rescheduled fixture and as a waiting response from the SPFL. As things stand, the rescheduled match will be on Wednesday, April the 17th at 8pm. That's what we expected again next week. It continues, the club considers that this matter has been handled incorrectly throughout by both Dundee and the SPFL. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what I wanted to know, because there should to be sun put forward. And this is why my frustration is aimed at Dundee and the SPFL. And no, how can you blame them for the weather? That's just shit, yeah. And let go of your Rangers hatred. You can really, truly understand because there has to have been stuff put in place. There has to have been conversations because everybody knows that park is a shamble. So both Dundee and the SP fellas rejected everything Rangers has put forward to what? Roll the dice that a park that can't drain water is going to be fine after four days of heavy rainfall. And again, a park that can't drain water in the space of a week is going to completely fix the problem areas that do not allow the ball to bounce despite those problem areas not being affected by the rain over the last couple of days because they've been covered for the last week, ladies and gentlemen. Do you see where I'm going with this? Who's actually making these decisions? It's absolutely mental. But I guess, speaking of that, to try and be as fair as I can, I believe the SPFL is also tweeted out, so I'm going to do a wee quick jump cut. I'm going to pick up that quote and I'm going to read it out. Today. Callum Beaton, Chief Operating Officer at the SPFL. How'd you get that job, Callum? You went out and have cereal books. He continues by saying, The match referee has carried out two detailed pitch inspections today and in light of the forecast for heavy rain later today in Dundee, a decision has now been taken that the pitch will not be playable this evening. What an absolute surprise that is. It continues. Whilst this development is extremely disappointing, we have a continuous set of measures in place placed last month and informed both clubs by email on March 21st of our intention should tonight's game fall victim to the weather that we would rearrange the game for Dens Park on the evening of Wednesday, April 17th. In last week, we have explored other possible options with both clubs, but none have been deemed to be better than our original contingency plan. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just clarify what they're saying there? They said last week when they knew the game wasn't going to end up going ahead, their best plan that they could come up with is, we'll just try next week. These are in charge of our game. Just to see, let's just, let's just roll the dice. That's their philosophy. That's their best possible solution. Let's just see. Like, do you know why we are so far behind Championship League One in England in terms of revenue and the way we're going and grassroots and everything like that? You can see it here. Serial box winners are making decisions and statements like this. We'll carry on. The decision gives this vital fixture that the very best chance of being played out in front of both sets of supporters and also gives us a week to finalise fuller contingency plans in the event that the weather unexpectedly deteriorates in the interim. Ladies and gentlemen, there you are. Do you know what their, their contingency plan is going to be next week? Have a guess. Let's just try it again. Get honest. I don't even want to speak about them anymore, man. Any chance? It, the statement ends by saying there is currently an ongoing disciplinary process regarding pitch issues at Den Park and the latest developments will form part of these inquiries. Oops, I just missed the couch and just threw my phone. It's probably wrong. You never know, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully it's Gorilla Glass. I don't even know what that is anymore. But there you are, ladies and gentlemen. There's Rangers' statement. There's the SPFL statement. I can't even be bothered reading and speaking what the Dundies are because have you been watching them? Like, honestly, they've came out here and they've said quotes like, it's as playable as it possibly can be. I don't know who's getting taken mayor of a ride. Us, ladies and gentlemen, is waiting for this game or the fact that Dundee are now charging £500 for season tickets gone next year. I don't know who's 
getting took me here for one, but it's an absolutely embarrassing situation, but I just wanted to voice my opinion on it. I never spoke about the last postponement because I thought, you know what, fair enough, they'll try their best, they've got the international break, things can happen, they'll get it sorted and we'll get the game moved on. But just know the fact that it's been postponed again after it should have been postponed on Saturday. Mullerwell made that very, very clear. I love the fact that they scored a the winner that skidded and didn't bounce underneath the goalie as well. By the way, that was a wee bit of justice. And then you've got people coming out here in the contingency plan and the contingency plan and the contingency plan again is to kick the can down the road and try it next week ladies and gentlemen how's that fair to the travelling supporters how is that fair overall I'm not saying I want the three points just handy to Rangers and like but surely after you fail to fulfil the fixture twice in a space of a month something needs to be done I don't know what the disciplinary process is hopefully it doesn't get lost in the spam folder but they should be absolutely roasted for this five postponements in a single season is truly embarrassing but we are in Scottish football that's why we are mocked and ridiculed by every other fan base around ladies and gentlemen the tin pot league is shown once again as we've got serial books winners making statements like that and decisions like that and we'll continue to be tin pot league with these people making these choices just just have a bit of common sense stop treating us like fanny stop treating us like cattle we can see what's going on we knew that part wasn't available yet we have to go and listen to them and follow them and this is what's happened ladies and gentlemen but that's my thoughts and opinion on the postponement game it's embarrassing and dundee needs to be disciplined on this issue and so needs to happen whether it's moved to a neutral venue or whatever you want it cannot be played there and it will not be played there because if it does get forced over the line the sand pit the fact the ball's no bouncing like that ankle 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 and when you're in a title run can you really afford to lose a several players or risk a couple players i've seen a couple people say ah well in the 70s and 80s and everything like that, we used to play in parts of that absolutely ladies and gentlemen but most people retired by 28 back then you know what i mean ronaldo played on a cow field the ronaldo but he was done by 24 because his knees had been turned inside out because of all the an injuries that he picked up and everything like that he went on to have a great career but nowhere near what he should have been so i'm the one who risk players when it's this deep into the season just to man up and get the game on nah we're in a title race we need our best players why would we put our players at risk that's just my opinion on it. There's no need for it. If it's a neutral venue, fair enough. Let's go ahead and do that. The Rangers fans will sell out whatever tickets you want and whatever can happen for there. But aye, so that needs to be done. What's your thoughts and opinions on it? That is mine. Until next time, I've been Cedric over round two. Sorry there's no match recap today, but hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I'm sure Ross County, despite the mad weather they're having, will have their pitch playable by the weekend. Funny that, in it? But until then, all the best and bye-bye.